The crypto universe coming back with a vengeance this month. Check out some of the biggest coins in the space surging. Ripple up 50 percent. Ethereum and Bitcoin Cash up more than 40 percent. And Litecoin and Bitcoin are up around 20 percent. This, as the total crypto market cap hits a four-week high, now back above $350 billion. And our own crypto baller BK here says Bitcoin is now testing a key technical level. He's over at the Plasma with a special crypto class. Hi, Beeks. Hey, how are you? Yes, yeah, so we're having a big week here. Obviously, a lot of nice bounce off the bottom. So let's see what's driving it here and then what we should look for over the next couple weeks. Number one, tax selling. That's over. If you haven't paid your taxes by now, you're in trouble. Number two, number of transactions increasing. I was here last week. You asked me, what is the single thing that we need to see to have this rally continue? We need to see transactions on the Bitcoin network increasing. That's beginning to happen. That's the fundamental support we need. And then number two, there's a fair amount of cash on the sidelines. Funds that I talk to have a fair amount of cash. They're in, they don't have as much Bitcoin. So we need some sort of catalyst to break us out of this and to get that cash out. So let's take a look at the chart and see what we've got here. So taking a look at the chart, this is a log chart. In Bitcoin, people use a log chart, log on the scale, because the big moves, this kind of normalizes the big moves. So log chart, since June, you see we have this big run up here, okay? Right to the top, that peak was 19,000. Now we have a downtrend. You can see how the downtrend there, very well defined, as Carter Worth would say. And look at where we are right now. Whoop, there's a nice arrow right there. Well, maybe it's not. Look at where we are right now, right on the trend line. That's about 8,500. So if we can break this trend line this week with all this fundamental support, tax selling God, cash on the sidelines, number of transactions increasing, we're going to turn that arrow upside down. And I think we go higher if we can break out. Should we invite BK over? Well, of course. Wow. No. Yeah. OK, come yes. on over, BK. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> you were nervous we were going to ask you back over. You are nervous. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a scary place to be at. There, it really um, is. And I don't usually sit over Welcome here. back. <laughs> <laughs> Not too long ago, you were pitching Bitcoin Cash as an opportunity. It it's gone up. What do we do? I think you hold on to it. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, the, the entire space has gone up here. Uh, Bitcoin Cash. If you, if you think about it this way, one of my friends was saying, if you got Bitcoin cash this year for free, which you did in a fork, and you had to raise some money for taxes, you'd probably sell Bitcoin cash and keep your Bitcoin. So it was probably the most susceptible to tax selling. And so now I think you're seeing that kind of beach ball under the water popping up. So, BK, when you look at Bitcoin or you look at the, uh, the, the currencies, when you play blockchain, what's the best way to play blockchain off of, off of this? Because that's what's going to stick around, whether or not you pick the right currency, blockchain yeah. will always be there. I think everyone agrees on that. Yeah, so there, there are a couple equity plays that you can do, enterprise blockchain. Um, IBM isn't a pure play, but they have, you know, that's one way to play it. Um, I certainly think, you know, if you want to kind of play the adoption of Bitcoin, Square is another way to do it. They, they, know, they mentioned in their... Say that uh, one again. Square. Okay. <laughs> You've heard of it, right? Yeah. I think you bought it at one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I think that there are different ways to play it. The other way you can play it, again, are through the chip uh, companies, and that's for the mining of this whole thing. Brian, when you're talking to institutions, though, it, it seems like the altcoins have outperformed the, the, the mega caps in Bitcoin. It's all relative. Um, what, do, what do institutions want to do here? Because you know, clearly the wave we saw in November and December was altcoins were massively outperforming because everyone wanted to kind of roll down the curve. Yeah. What's going on now? Yeah, so you, it's, it's, it's a good point, Tim, because what you're seeing is this rotation. Bitcoin is somewhat stuck here, but you're seeing some other high-quality coins, Ethereum, EOS, some of the larger cap coins getting a bid here. And I think we're going to see this year a real divergence in quality. You're going to see maybe 10 different coins that are going to really get all the money, and then the other 1,000 or so are going to go to zero. Got a real quick question for you. Of the chip names, since we started off the night with Chipwreck, yeah. Tell me the chips that have the biggest, best exposure in this Taiwan world. Semi. Even though they had TSM. Horrible, yeah, right. TSM. Even though they, had, they got killed on smartphones today. Ty, here's, so NVIDIA, AMD, those are two ways to play it. Right. But Taiwan Semi makes the ASICs, the application-specific integrated circuits. You knew that, right? right? They course. make the ASICs that, the mine, that all the big miners use, and that's the best way to play them.
Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.